Hello and welcome to PC Simplest. In today's video we're talking about backing up pictures from your Apple device such as iPhone, iPod, or your iPad to your computer. And this is very specific to Windows computers. So we're just going to go ahead and jump into it. So the first thing that you need to do is you need to make sure that you have your Apple cord plugged into your computer, which is your charging cord, plugged into your USB port on your computer, and then plugged into your phone. So now once you have your iPhone plugged into your computer, you may be prompted to either open up your files or your pictures. Um, sometimes you won't be. It really depends on how your computer is set up. So in this specific instance, uh, we're just going to assume that nothing popped up and we're going to go to our start menu and we're simply just going to go to where it says this PC. If you're running Windows 7 or Windows XP, it may simply just say computer or my computer. Um, but once you click on the start menu, you should have an option for my computer, uh, this PC, or just computer. So go ahead and click on that. And you should have a window that's pretty similar to this that'll pop up. You should see something that, that's going to say devices and drives or, you know, maybe just uh, hard disk, something, something that you'll see where you'll, you'll see a little icon and it'll say iPhone next to it. Once you've located this icon that says iPhone by it, all you're going to do is you're just going to double click on it and it'll open up this internal storage icon here. Once you click on that, it's going to take you to this DCIM folder. Uh, these, this folder right here contains all of your pictures that you have on your phone. So from this point, you could just right click, do copy, and then, you know, paste it on your desktop if you wanted. Or if you had like, you know, another location that you wanted it to go to, say you had like a backup drive that you saved a lot of your stuff on, you could, you know, go here and uh, put it put it in a different drive if you wanted to. Really depends on how you want to do it. Uh, but for the sake of this video, we're going to be get kind of specific here because once you go into the DCIM folder you're going to see a few other folders and these are basically broken down by different times and dates and stuff like that so uh, once you take a group of pictures on a day or a week I think it breaks down the folders and different structures so you may have a lot of different folders you may not so it really depends on how often you take pictures uh, but we're just going to go click on any random folder here and you'll see that I have a couple pictures here and um, all I'm going to do here is just copy a couple of them. Uh, I'm just going to highlight some of them here, and I can just drag and drop them over onto my desktop. Um, you know, I can highlight one of them, do a copy. If I right-click on the picture, do copy. I can go over to my desktop and hit paste. Uh, the same can be said if you wanted to save this to another location, like we said before. Um, we've already copied a couple of them, um, or one of them we can just do a right-click paste, and it's going gonna, it's gonna to copy that picture there. You could also just, you know, highlight these and have your other window to open and just drag and drop it into it so uh, it's a very simple process here uh, I know there's probably other methods of doing this but for me this is probably the simplest way it gets right to the point I can really pick and choose which pictures I want to put and where I want to put them so if you found this video useful at all I, I really hope you you know like it comment subscribe to my channel uh, thank you for watching if you have any questions regarding this type of video or any other questions regarding how to back up your pictures or videos from your iPhone, your iPad, or your iPad pod or whatever, please don't hesitate to comment on this channel and I will get back to you as soon as I possibly can. Thank you very much for watching and I hope you have a great day.